Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I've gotten a lot of new really viral makeup in PR recently. This isn't even all of it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I almost have enough to do a full face of first impressions. So I figured let's see what's good, what maybe you should pass on. For primers is this extremely viral NYX The Marshmallow Primer. I've seen this everywhere and it was so hard to find. Uh, so luckily NYX did send me this, but it has marshmallow root in it. And I've heard it smells bomb. Oh, it smells really good. It smells maybe like Smarties and cotton candy mixed together. It's going on really smooth. It has a nice glow to the skin. This is the NYX Marshmallow Blender. Are you kidding me? That is so adorable. It looks like a little marshmallow. Oh, I'm so excited to use this. For foundation, I'm testing out for the first time the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Foundation from ColourPop. This came out a while ago and I haven't tested it, but I love their tinted moisturizer in the Pretty Fresh line, so I can't wait to test this out. Not sure about the color going on with quite a bit of coverage. The sponge is kind of awkward because I find myself almost going in at an angle and then it leaves a little mark where the edge of the spun one or sponge was. Like if you can see right here, that line. So you really have to be deliberate with how you're going in. I don't know if I like this sponge. It's very cute. The foundation looks beautiful. It is definitely a medium coverage. I can see that it would be buildable. It looks very glowy, but very skin-like. It's basically what I would have imagined from the Pretty Fresh foundation. A little bit more coverage and a little bit less kind of oily than the tinted moisturizer is. I love this foundation. It is kind of settling into my smile lines. Basically every single foundation does. It's not settling in around my nose at all. I really like it. I think it's absolutely stunning. Hopefully this wears nicely because this could be my new favorite foundation. I just really quickly cleaned my e.l.f. beauty sponge. I think this is the one that goes with their camo concealers and I love that. For the concealer, oh, is my microphone on? Okay, thank God. For the concealer, I'm also testing out the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer from ColourPop. Looks like it could be a little dark. Maybe more of like a concealing shade and then I'll go in and brighten it up later. Oh, I meant to do my eyes first. Man, this video is all over the place. <laughs> Blended out really nicely. It did brighten a tiny bit. It's a beautiful finish. It is definitely like a hydrating formula. Yeah, I really like it. I definitely need to go through and brighten and add a little bit more coverage on my under eyes just for my personal wants. So really quickly, I'm just adding the tiniest bit of my <clears throat> Tarte Shape Tape right where I need it. Just in a couple other places real quick. I don't really have a powder to try and also I just wanna see what these look like with a powder I'm familiar with. So I'm just gonna be setting with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. As I'm setting it, it looks so flawless. It basically looks airbrushed in real life. It doesn't really look like I have a lot of foundation sitting on the skin or anything. The eyes are pretty much gonna be completely first impressions. For the face, I'm cheating a little bit. I'm just using this contour powder that I have. It's the Gigi Gorgeous, the, si the Sick Sculpt Powder. I got this, I think in a BoxyCharm, but it's a really good contour shade for my skin color. So I'm just quickly contouring. Mainly I just wanna contour my nose. <laughs> Especially because I wanna see if this foundation and concealer breaks up or not when I'm contouring my nose. It didn't break up at all. I, what is this magic? For bronzers, this is kind of like a first impression. I have the e.l.f. primer infused bronzer in Forever Sunkissed. I've definitely used this before, but I don't know when. I don't recall ever trying this and it looks more like a swatch 
we're basically trying it out for the first time together. I do really like this. I think because I have a little bit of a tan right now, I think it really goes with the undertone of the tan. And it definitely just gives the appearance that I'm naturally sun-kissed, forever sun-kissed. For the blush, I have another ColourPop product. This is their Pressed Powder Blush in Shays. Shays, like Shays Lounge. It's a very pretty peachy shade. I love me a peachy blush. That is beautiful. It's pigmented and very buildable, but it's not so pigmented that you have to be scared as soon as you put your brush in there. Makeup Revolution Hyaluronic Fix. It's a hydrating and plumping makeup fixing spray, which looks amazing. Oh, I don't know. The second ingredient is alcohol. I try not to use anything with alcohol on my face. Okay, this spray looks somewhat tame. Whew. You definitely feel it. You feel wet. I didn't even get this side of my face. Oh, because, <laughs> why do I do this in every single video? I try to talk and there's still setting spray. Because it's such a short spray, it's, it's just very quick. So there's no dragging ability. You just, oh, <laughs> exactly. I definitely feel like it did melt down some of, also, if you ever see me do this, I'm not picking my nose, I promise. My nose ring has like a little ball on it and I just shove it back up in there. I definitely think it helps settle some of the powders. I think that the spray is just so aggressive that you kind of get some wet spots. I'm just gonna use a little bit of my Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. This mist is amazing and also the formula is amazing. It doesn't even feel like you're spraying your face because it's such a fine mist. Also, this smells amazing. I have the NYX Brow Glue. It sounds like it's going to be a very intense. I don't know why I had to smell it. It doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> oh, you don't wanna go back over spots you've already touched. That turned into like a white goopy mess. I think that that looks pretty good. It's not as stuck and laminated onto my skin as a brow soap would, but it's holding them up in place. This is doing a lot more than a normal brow gel would do. It still feels flexible. When you have brow soap in your brows, it feels hard. Like if you raise your eyebrows, you can feel that there is something very thick eyebrows but with this they feel very flexible it doesn't really feel like i have anything in my eyebrows probably just a brow gel i'm a really big fan of this i'm super interested to see how this wears throughout the day for the eyes i got two brand new makeup revolution palettes the first one is called forever flawless lots of beautiful everyday pinky shades and then I also got one called Chilled, and this is infused with cannabis sativa seed oil, which I think sounds really cool. I don't know what that does in an eyeshadow palette, but I mean, it sounds really cool. Some grays, a little bit of like some purpley kind of colors, super beautiful. So I put both of them on my Instagram story to see which one y'all wanted to look with. Did I just say y'all? Which one you guys wanted a look with? It was so close. This one, this one won by 54%. So it was really close. If you guys wanna see a video featuring this one, definitely let me know and I'm more than happy to film that as well. But for today, we're gonna to be testing out the Forever Flawless Palette by Makeup Revolution. I'm thinking I'm wanting to do almost like a very circular halo eye. We'll see if that's how it comes out, but that's what I'm gonna attempt to do. I am going to prime my eyes with the P. Louise base. This is in Rumor 01, just to really see what these shadows can do. Going to show you what shade I'm using and do it on my eye just to save some time. So that way this video isn't a million years long. are done and I love this palette. The mattes are super pigmented, really easy to blend. The shades Aspire 
and attraction that I use, these two, they are a little bit more like a glitter topper. I think that they were beautiful. I can't wait to test out this palette more. I've never used uh, Makeup Revolution shadows before this and I was very pleasantly surprised. I really wanna try out this NYX Epic Ink Liner. But I don't really know if we need a black liner on this look. I've heard such good stuff about this. I'm just gonna try it. It's a brush tip, so it's really easy to use. It is kind of struggling to cover all of that like glittery pigment, which is to be expected. It's pretty black. I mean, it's not like crazy super black, but I'll let you know once it dries. Also, I just noticed, so I did wanna let you know, I did, I did get some fallout from those glittery shades. It doesn't really bother me. I usually do my eyes first, but just so that way you do know. So I just did a second coat and it's a lot more black. It's not completely matte, but I would say that it is fairly matte. It's not like a gel liner kind of that matte, but it was pretty easy to use. If you like brush tips, I feel like this was a good one. For mascara, I'm super excited to try the Makeup Revolution 5D Lash and Lift Mascara. It's supposed to just be one swipe. So it's supposed to be lengthening, lifting, defining. It says it stretches your eyelashes and it gives you volume. So that's a lot of promises. It's supposed to have hyaluronic acid and so that way it's good for your lashes as well. And it also has fibers. So it is a fiber mascara. I mean, lots of claims. If it does all of that, it might be my new favorite mascara, but let's see if it actually does. Just curling my eyelashes with my Morphe Lash Curler. Oh, I just hurt. What? <laughs> I just pinched my eye. So one swipe impact. I mean, I'm having to do a little bit more than one swipe, but let's see how I can build this up. I like the mascara, but I don't think it's very lengthening. I think it gives you good volume, it's not clumpy, it really separates the lashes, but I don't think it's the most lengthening mascara that I've ever used. I will definitely continue to use it. I think it's pretty, but if you're looking for that very long separated lash look, I don't think this is the mascara for you. What else? Um, the, oh God. For lashes, I've just been loving popping on a third of a lash just on the very outer corner. So this is kind of what I do and I just add it onto the very corner of the eye to give it a little bit more lift. This is a third of the Bold Face Perfect Pair. As you can see, those are the inner corners. These are the outer corners and then I've also used the middle pieces. So kind of whatever you're feeling that day. Just using a tiny bit of the Bold Faces Lash Glue. I actually really like this. I usually use the Duo Lash Adhesive, the green brush on one, but Bold Face sent me this glue and I really like it. It holds all day and the applicator is plastic. So it doesn't get all gunked up. My dual one always gets really messy. I'm gonna apply these and then I'll be right back. So as you can see, it just adds a tiny bit of flare and lift to the outside of the lash, but it still keeps it very natural and very comfortable for everyday wear. Plus then you get like three times as many lashes because you're only using a third of it at a time. Budget hacks. <laughs> I don't have any new lip liners and I do want to line my lips, but for the actual lip product, I wanna use the NYX Shine Loud. They're like a liquid lipstick. These went super viral, especially on TikTok, but one half is the lip color and then the other half is a clear gloss. And when you put it over top, it makes it kiss proof, it doesn't transfer. I'm very excited to try these out. I love a glossy lip that doesn't transfer, especially now like wearing masks and everything. I'm using Cash Beauty, which is Kaylee Emue's brand. I'm using their lip liner in Rose Nude. Wow, very pigmented. Hmm, I really like this applicator. It's definitely a little reddish pink 
for what I would have chosen for these eyes. So now you let it completely dry before doing the gloss. Definitely a very drying formula. Not good. I think it's because I'm just messing with it as it's drying, but it's really sinking into all my like little lip crevices. Lip crevices? I don't know what else to call them. I don't know how I feel about this gloss having a brush. It's nice, but because I'm so used to glosses having a doe foot applicator, I don't expect them to flex and cover more area. Wow, this gloss is very shiny. It's a nice formula too. It's not sticky and it's not like a lip oil. Okay, moment of truth though. There's nothing, just some gloss. Ooh, I love this. I need to see if they have any lighter shades because I do tend to like a lighter lip, but this could be a game changer. I'm a fan. Okay, I didn't really like that lip with these eyes, so I changed up my lip a little bit. I kind of tried to wipe it off, but it almost seems like a stain or something. It definitely wasn't coming off. I can tell it's still very drying underneath. Still feels kind of weird, but moving on. I wanted to test out another product though. This is the ColourPop Lux Gloss, and this is their new shade called Cross Street. This is a part of their Off Melrose collection. It's a very pretty beige with almost pink yellow reflex in it. If you can see that at all on camera. So just laying this on top. These are a really nice formula too. Number one, they smell amazing. If I imagine what a bakery would smell like after baking a bunch of cakes and one order of lemon bars. It feels great though. It's not sticky. It is very slippy and it is super shiny. Not as shiny as the last gloss, but beautiful. From all the products that I tried, I think my favorites are the foundation. I just need to see how this wears, but so far it looks amazing. It's settling into my smile lines, but like I said, every single foundation does that. So that's not a problem for me. I really like this blush in Shays. Shays? Shays? Just pigmented enough, super easy to blend, beautiful color. And I think the marshmallow primer. My pores look great. It looks like I used a pore filling primer and it was just this. Uh, my skin feels hydrated. It doesn't look dry at all. So I definitely like this. I think if I had to choose some that I maybe didn't like, I really liked all the products so far. I mean, I wanna see how the brow gel wears. Depending on how that wears, that could end up being one of my favorite products. I would say probably the Hyaluronic Fix just because of the sprayer. I need to test it out more, um, but the sprayer, <laughs> like it just shoots you. Even holding it all the way back, I still feel that on my face and that is intense. The mascara, just because it did claim to be very like lengthening and I didn't really find that to be the case. I still like it and I'll still wear it. There wasn't really anything that I absolutely hated. This is the finished look. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I found so many new cool products that I can't wait to keep using. Let me know what your favorite product was down below. I'll keep on with my day and then I'll check in later to show you how the foundation and the brow glue is wearing. But if you don't care to see that, then I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I hope that you have an amazing rest of your week. Bye. Hello, I'm back. Oh. That's my lip liner. It is officially 10:16 p.m. So I've had the foundation on for just over an hour and pr just over an hour. It's late for me. <laughs> just over 9 hours. Brow glue definitely held up really well. When soap brows wears off, it's flaky. This didn't get flaky. It didn't completely hold it up, but I think it held it just as well as brow soap. I'm very pleased with it and I'll definitely keep using it. Foundation did break up a little bit in my smile lines and around my nose. I mean, that's pretty normal. This looks amazing for nine hours of wear on me. I do get extremely oily. I haven't touched up at all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching to the end and I hope you have a good rest of your day.